Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Can-Am. The ride says it all. Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. And by Yamaha, conquer outdoors. 15 years ago, the notion that a fledgling snowmobile and ATV maker in northern Minnesota could dominate the off-road industry would have been laughable. More than this, the thought that an American manufacturer could not only design, but manufacture a line of class-leading power sport engines would have sent most observers rolling around on the floor in peals of laughter. In 2015, the laughter has turned into applause and the doubters have been convinced by Polaris Industries' ability to not only lead the off-road industry in sales, but to successfully design, engineer, and manufacture true high-performance, small-displacement off-road engines. Polaris ProStar engines are lightweight, reliable, and exceptionally powerful. Clearly, Polaris has shifted the paradigm from offshore and imported engine suppliers producing the bulk of power sports engines to doing that job themselves and winning while doing it. ProStar as a brand is so unique for a couple of reasons. Uh, firstly, it's made by Polaris. So it's something that we've designed and developed to go specifically into the vehicles that we make. Uh, secondly, it really gives us an advantage over the competition in being able to control that destiny with the powertrain uh, to match it to the vehicle to give that compelling package that the customer expects. It's really emerged so quickly as a function of how the vehicles and the market has matured. As people have expected more performance uh, and more features in their vehicle, they've expected more value vehicles. So with that, the engines have been expected to mature at the same rate as the vehicles, and ProStar has really been a way for us to help do that inside of our vehicles. So what's the magic formula that's taken Polaris' relatively new ProStar engine program to such incredible market acceptance and leadership? ProStar engines have a couple of attributes that they must always try and integrate into their design. Firstly, ease of maintenance. That's something that's critical for the customer to have within their vehicle. It must be easy to work on, and it must be logical for someone to be able to do any maintenance items that they need to. Secondly, it must be really powerful within the vehicle. Uh, it has to be something that's matched with the performance that the vehicle is expected to have, whether it be sport, whether it be utility, uh, or whether it be an in-between type vehicle. It must also be built with reliability in mind. So what that means for the customer is a package that comes together to deliver them not only the power they want, but through the whole life of the vehicle. Excuse us, but we thought Power Sports high performance engines were the exclusive domain of Japanese OEMs. Polaris is a legitimate player in the high performance engine industry. There are a lot of players out there that deliver a lot of value for the customer. And we feel that ProStar engines uh, specifically deliver in all of the values customer expect. Uh, they integrate a lot of technology that you find in the highest levels of performance. Uh, everything from NASCAR to automotive uh, are things that we incorporate into our engines depending on the application. Uh, and the marketplace has really seen that with the evolution of our engines into power points that you don't even see in high performance racing applications. How density that we often mention is something that we're particularly proud of, which is the amount of horsepower by displacement that the engine makes. So for example, the Razor XP1000 that makes 110 horsepower per liter which is pretty compelling in the performance industry. We were able to deliver the kind of sophistication you would expect out of a ProStar engine from multiple different fronts, all really starting with design, moving through testing, and then into manufacturing. So in the first stages of designing a ProStar engine, you always want to look at what are the competitive engines out there and what are some of the technologies that you want to bring to the table in this particular application. From there, we'll move into testing, incorporating those items, and look at all the different aspects of the engine that the customer will be expecting, whether that be a cold start on a minus 5 degree day or a hot start on a 110 degree day. You want the customer to always be satisfied with those aspects of the engine uh, in all those different environments. From there, you want to be able to put the engine together extremely reliably uh, of a very high quality. So then you'd move that into our world-class manufacturing plants uh, and put those pieces together in exactly the right way every single time to ensure that every customer sees that level of performance, reliability, and integration into the vehicle that they would expect. We learned a new expression from Herd. He calls it power density, and it's key to Polaris ProStar engine's formidable power delivery. 
To achieve that kind of very high power density, for example, in the Razer XP1000 motor, we had to play with the cam timing pretty significantly in order to get the RPMs and fueling and air mixture that we really wanted to inside the engine to make that big power. We also had to play with the compression ratio and then look at some of the different materials within the engine that suffer from the heat uh, that you generate making that kind of power. So in order to make sure that the ProStar engine was not just powerful, but reliable, you have to kind of consider all the different aspects of the motor when you're pushing that sort of power density. It's a special kind of power that we need to make in the off-road market. It needs to be a light, uh, high-performance package that we put together, and we often refer to that as power density. So what that means is we're squeezing a huge amount of power into a relatively small package to deliver that value and experience for the customer. Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Princess Auto, a unique world of equipment, tools, and more. Interestingly, Polaris ProStar engines are exclusively mated to CVTs, continuously variable transmissions. We have often wondered what unique design and performance attributes are required of a CVT engine. Heard made it very clear to us there's a big difference between a gear-on-gear -gear engine and a CVT engine. ProStar engines are built specifically to take advantage of the CVT technology that Polaris uses within its vehicle. The customers over uh, the life of the vehicle have been extremely pleased with how this technology has worked off-road. It's very simple for them to use. Uh, it doesn't come with some of the complexities that you have a gear-style transmission. But with that, you have some unique challenges for the off-road vehicle in and of itself. For example, the crankshaft has to be specifically strengthened and designed to deal with those different loads that you have from a CVT transmission versus a traditional gear transmission. With the near overnight success of the ProStar brand and Polaris' enormous footprint in many segments of the power sport industry, the inevitable question had to be asked, will ProStar supplant all Polaris engine brands and power all their vehicles? ProStar Engines was specifically introduced in 2011 in the Razer XP900. And with that, we really found uh, a lot of good runway uh, within the industry to be able to develop our own engines to power our own vehicles. Um, and we've really taken that to the next phase at this point by having ProStar Engines in essentially all of our off-road vehicles. Um, as, a, as a cornerstone of a ProStar engine, it is basically specifically designed to be only in an off-road vehicle. Um, so we won't see ProStar engines in motorcycles or snowmobiles or other kinds of transportation that Polaris may make. We thought it was an either-or proposition when it comes to small displacement, high-performance engines. You can either have power or you can have reliability, but not both. Heard tweaked our sensibilities on this topic. ProStar engines really offer a unique balance of both reliability and power, which is sometimes hard to find within a power sports industry engine. Uh, generally, you find either power or reliability. Uh, Off-road dirt bikes are a good example of being able to find power, but not necessarily reliability. You have to rebuild them quite frequently. What we're particularly proud of on the ProStar motors is you can drive them as hard as you want to, however you want to, all throughout the day, all throughout the life of the vehicle, but have very, very simple maintenance to do on the vehicle and not compromise any of that power. In case you hadn't noticed, certain key OEMs in the side-by-side -side industry are engaged in an all-out war for power supremacy. So, how far will it go? And how far will Polaris go? It's pretty clear at this time that the industry is in a horsepower war, if you will. It's very reminiscent of what we saw in the 70s from the automotive uh, companies within Detroit. Every player within the industry right now is really developing the best that they can at the top end of the marketplace, whether it be power, whether it be suspension, uh, whether it be some other vehicle attribute. Um, but power is really the, the cornerstone of what's going on within the industry right now. We've seen it from competitors recently. Uh, we've also played the, uh, the same move um, in the Razer XP1000. I really think that, uh, that over the next few years, it's going to be extremely exciting within the industry for both the customer and the manufacturers. Um, competition is fantastic for the customer. It allows technology to be brought to the table that otherwise there wouldn't have been a pressure to bring. And it's also great for the manufacturers because it gives them the opportunity to really display what they're capable of for the customer. Polaris has never done uh, developing new things for the customer. Innovation is one of the things that brings us all to work every day. We're all writers at heart and making the experience better for the customer uh, is really something that you, you never stop doing. It's, uh, it's a 24 hour activity, um, seven days a week, 365 days a year at Polaris. It's something that is what started the company um, and I see from here till no end in sight essentially within the history of Polaris.
It's no accident Polaris ProStar engines are making a huge mark on the power sports industry. These purpose-built power plants have been targeted directly at the side-by-side -side and ATV market with surgical precision and are achieving remarkable results. Look for even more powerful ProStar engines in the near future. ProStar is here to stay, and so is Polaris. Closed captioning of Dirt Tracks is sponsored by Triton Trailer, built for adventure. It doesn't matter what season it is or where we're going, we always take a lot of gear with us. And when you're traveling with a lot of gear and hauling big rigs, the number one thing to keep in mind is safety. Superclamp makes a wide variety of cool products to help you haul your ATVs, side-by-sides, and sleds safer, easier, and with less stress, knowing your vehicle is not only safe and secure, but you're also safe while doing it. The number one safety rule when hauling your ATV or side-by-side -side is always to tie it down, but that can be a problem if you're using low-quality D-rings or if your truck box or trailer bed has either low-quality steel or rotted-out plywood. SuperTrack is a unique product that answers many questions with one simple design. Available in one, two, or four foot lengths, you can position them wherever needed or utilize a series of SuperTracks to make a full run inside your trailer or on the box of your truck. The key to installation is to anchor the track into your trailer's frame, and if a frame member is not available, to use an acceptable thickness steel backer plate. This will ensure the safest load possible. So why is SuperTrack so versatile? Well, it was made to work with a bunch of different SuperClamp products to secure many different styles of vehicles. The deck hook is the key to tying down your ATV or side-by-side, -side. and thanks to its simple design, it's easy to shift its location to wherever you need it. Add to this a very unique padlock point, and you can lock your load to your truck box, trailer deck, or wherever you use your SuperTrack. How cool is that? The deck hook is the start to the SuperTrack, and in the winter months, it transforms this unique securement product to accept much more. The SuperClamp 2 and SuperClamp rear track bracket work seamlessly with the SuperTrack to lock down both your skis and your rear suspension. These also include padlockable security and work seamlessly, offering you four seasons of securement with no need to update or adjust your hard-mounted track. It truly is the best of both worlds. So now you can tie all your gear down, but what about loading? Because with trailers, there is always the issue of traction. Particularly in the winter months, the trailer ramp or deck will become quite slick, not to mention the issue of carbide runners carving up the trailer floor. The SuperGlide product is a unique floor-mountable track that offers a grooved path for carbides to slide on, as well as enhanced traction grips to keep you safe when loading. And thanks to elongated mounting holes, the track can expand and contract, eliminating warpage common with other products. While the SuperGlides work exceptionally well in the winter months, they also come in extremely handy during the summer. Whether it be rain, mud, or just slippery floor surfaces, the added traction the SuperGlides offer for both ATV and side-by-side -side tires, as well as your feet when loading, makes them the perfect fit for your trailer, truck deck, or wherever you need extra traction and protection over a surface. No matter where you're headed, it's always the right choice to ensure a safe and secure load. And when you're using products from SuperClamp, you know that you're getting not only industry-leading technology, but also a focus on safety, not just for you, but for your toys as well. In model year 2015, Can-Am is making bold moves with their ATV lineup. There's new platforms and there's new engines, which should give them better traction with buyers. On today's test ride, we're gonna take a look at a big move, the Can-Am Outlander Max 450L. Last season, we tested the first of the new L-series Outlanders, the Outlander 500L, and pronounced it a really good idea, but a little late arriving. After all, the 500cc ATV segment has been dominated for a decade by the Polaris Sportsman 500 with its unbelievably low MSRP. The L-series finally brings Can-Am's premium price distraction under control with not just good, but truly competitive MSRPs for all L models. Okay, we're convinced the L concept is solid and will bring more and new buyers to Can-Am showrooms. However, there is a small problem, and we uncovered it in last year's 500L test ride, and it's this. What does L stand for? Light, less, lowered, looker, launch, or likable. If L means less, then we think it might be a misnomer on the 450 Max. 
We're big on the MAX concept and have tested many MAX variants the past five years. The idea works because the driver and passenger are situated in front of the rear axle center line. Thus, the critical issue of flipovers, the number one safety concern when riding double on a one-up ATV, is completely alleviated. You can try to flip a MAX over backward, but we found it to be virtually impossible. Maybe some of our more power-hungry viewers are yawning at the thought of a test ride on a 450cc two-upper. Well, that's okay, because you're gonna get a wake-up call when you whack this lever here connected to the 450cc Rotax twin camera located under here. The 450 Outlander in regular or max lengths is an exceptional performer. We suspect Can-Am's plumping up of the 500V twin to 570cc's is due to the excellent class-leading performance of this new 450 single. Frankly, the 450 will outpull the old 500 from engagement to 30 miles per hour. The engine is abundantly torquey, belying its 450cc displacement, and it pulls to an impressive indicated 60 mile per hour top speed. Throttle response is immediate, urgent, and the exhaust note is healthy. So let me throw this out there. You know we're corrupted by power here at Dirt Tracks, and frankly, there can't be enough throttle under your right thumb as far as we're concerned. Let me throw a twist at you though. The 450 Outlander Max is actually more fun to ride than a 1000 Max on the kind of trails we're on most around here. Really. Before you call 911 and report momentary insanity at dirt tracks, I need to explain. Outlander Max models with Rotax V-Twins, particularly the 650, 800, and 1000, are big vehicles with heavy power plants. They can literally light up all four meets like an NHRA top fuel dragster, run over 70 miles per hour flat out, and probably pull the side off your house. However, there is a price to pay for imposing power, and after we rode the 450 Max L, we experienced this weight and size penalty. I'm straight up serious here. This full-on G2 Max chassis, equipped with a lightweight and torquey mill, and clutched for immediate response on trails, is a revelation. You can literally shred gnarly trails, slalom tightly treed two-track, or keep up with any ATV on big trails, regardless of engine size. Just so I don't wig out faithful Dirt Tracks viewers, I will not say something stupid like, after riding this 450, I don't see why anyone else makes a 1000. Truthfully, there's a place for big bore rides, and we live for those places. However, when the cost value equation comes up, it's tough, real tough, to argue with the 450L Max from that perspective. If in fact L does mean less, let me bring levity to what this means. The 450L package comes with a downgraded instrument cluster, steel instead of composite racks, no brush guards, no hand guards, and a smaller trunk. This 450L is a DPS package and comes standard with electronic power steering and these cool aluminum wheels. Looking at what you don't get on the Outlander 450L Max shows how much you do get with this ride. The downgrades are inconsequential, particularly if you compare the L to the competition. The only way you'll sense there's less with an L comes when you compare it to the premium Outlander XT Max. Interestingly, the 450 Outlander is only available in L clothes, Max or regular length. We think Can-Am is finally and decisively determined to compete with Polaris in the hotly contested full-size 4x4 class. So here's what you need to know. Can-Am is delivering exceptional value and performance with the 450L. This voracious value vehemently veers Can-Am's vector to a new velocity. That was for AJ. Seriously, you need to ride this ATV to understand just how much the 450L Max brings to the dirt. There's a lot of companies in the ATV and side-by-side -side industry that are strictly out there to make a buck. And there's nothing wrong with doing that, but we've come to truly enjoy those that are enthusiast owned and come up with a great product, not from just a good idea, but from an actual perceived need. And Diamondback is one of those companies. 
Getting out and using the product uh, a lot of times is the difference in, in, in how a product's engineered. From the start, we were taking our ATVs with us, we were hauling stuff in the truck, and a lot of the design changes that happened to the product over the many years uh, stemmed from just getting out and, and using it. I strongly believe that it's, it's imperative that, that people understand that when you see a product, that there is a person associated with that product. It came from somewhere. Everyone gets this illusion that uh, everything is just a large corporation and, and no one really cares anymore. Um, but we're not extinct. Um, there are still people that are, that are making and developing things that actually care and actually use the product. Dirt Tracks Television has been sponsored by Polaris, the world leader in off-road innovation. Can-Am, the ride says it all. And by Arctic Cat. Share our passion. Like the video you just saw? Do you want to see more? Click the subscribe link and add the Dirt Tracks channel and you're going to see a whole lot more great content.